What's going on with the world? It's your boy Mouse. Now, Memphis rapper Finesse Two Times has definitely been on a run ever since he got released out of uh, federal prison two years ago. Like once he got out, it was over with. And we've been witnessing, you know, him consistently drop banger after banger after banger. Like, dude has definitely been keeping his foot on the industry's neck as far as staying consistent with good music. Now, when Finesse got out, you know, he uh, basically he ended up signing with Mob Types and he, you know, he patched everything up with money bag, yo, and he ended up signing a new contract with Bread Game. Now, when all that took place, this is when he would end up signing a whole nother deal. So it was Mob Ties, Bread Game, and Atlantic. And now, it's two years after the deal has been signed, and it's like now Atlantic, it, they, they just, they BSing with him. You know, and I know a lot of people got their opinions about finesse. Oh, he rapped the same, the same flow, blah blah blah. There is other artists out here that y'all love. They dirty draws, and they rap the same. They actually create the same song over and over, and y'all love it like it's the the latest shit. Like it's just bumping. Man, nah, this shit trash. One thing I like about finesse, he was always bumping to me, but you can tell once he got released, you know. He really started to put more substance into his music. Hence the reason why he called his uh, album Art of War. And just some of the records that he been just really releasing. One of my favorites is Mixed Feelings. And he been just hitting them with it. You know, the Pretty Ricky joint. You know, uh, Hugs and Kisses. You know, he just really been dropping a lot of stuff. Just staying consistent. And it seems like Atlantic is BSing with him. And I feel like Atlantic is one of the worst labels anyone can be signed to. You know, I, I can name a list of artists who have had issues with Atlantic and they wanted to get off. You know, T.I. spoke about, you know, as his 10-year uh, contract was coming to an end, Atlantic wasn't really pushing him like that because, you know, he wasn't trying to push the gangster image. He was more into his family life and they didn't like that. You know, uh, Jonah Lucas spoke about his frustrations with Atlantic. Uh, Lupe, uh, Pretty Ricky, the, the group. Uh, who else? Uh, Memphis rapper Kivo Money, Memphis rapper Juicy Fruit. I brought the list goes on and on. Atlantic has never really, Atlantic has not been the same in decades. And it's understandable where their focus is, is their focus is on Cardi. And with, that's understandable. That's that's their meal ticket at this point. She's the one who's been really been keeping the lights on fire as at Atlantic. But it's just a simple fact that why sit there and continue to sign artists if you know you're not gonna be able to put focus into them. You know, Finesse album was supposed to bin drop and Atlantic is just BSing. And this is what really is messed up because this is what slows the momentum down for a lot of artists when you're tied into these contracts and when you're you know, when you can't really release your album when you want to because of your uh, contract, this is what like, a lot of artists end up going through. And that's why a lot of people preach that, oh, it's best that you stay independent, stay independent, stay independent. I mean, the same could happen if you're independent, if you sign to somebody else's label, you know. So it's just best to do your own thing. But me personally, I really think Atlantic is really playing with fin finesse two times. You know, they holding him back, you know, and it's, just, it's sad. Like I said, I know a lot of people got their opinions about him far as his personal stuff. I ain't, I'm not on it. You know, I can care less about that. I'm talking about the music. You know, I'm talking about the raps, you know, that's what I'm, t that's my concern. You know, a lot of people, you know, definitely want to hear the art of war, you know, and at, at the end of the day, I know it's a business. You know the record. You know what I'm saying the recording business, and they're all about, you know, recouping. You know, making sure they can make their money back. They want to spend a little, will make a lot. You know, but it's just a simple fact. You can sit there and tell him and his team is doing all this on their own. Atlantic ain't got nothing to do with this. This that's all finesse two times and his team. You know, doing it on his own, and it's like he got records that like, he got stupid records. You know, like the stuff with uh, OG Boo Dirty, you know, just he got, dude really got some stuff. 
and it's like Atlantic ain't really backing it. You can tell. You can you can see when the label is supporting it, and you can see when the label ain't supporting it. And so I just I wonder what the finesse gonna do. I wonder if he's gonna just stay hemmed up at Atlantic and just gonna wait until they do something with him, or is he gonna try to get out of his contract, man? Y'all let me know in the comment section.